Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how I got this look that you see here. This is a wonderful, dramatic fall look. Beautiful eye colors, fall colors, lots of oranges and browns and some reds mixed in. So I want to do something fun for fall and something that you can wear on a night out. Super glam, super dramatic, and I absolutely love the way that this came out. And I also wanted to tell you guys about this necklace that I'm wearing here. I will leave a code in the description box below for 20% off. This is a beautiful necklace from Marina Collections. They have a lot of statement pieces, and some of them are, you know, you know, kind of more classic like this. They also have different kinds. They have a bunch that are a lot more dramatic. They have some that are just, you know, chokers. They have beautiful beautiful statement pieces and I do not make a cent off of this so I'm just giving you guys the code because holidays are coming up they offered it to me for my subscribers and I wanted to wait until I got the necklace to see you know that it was good quality and I liked it and I love it I'm actually gonna order some more so um, do I do I say that all the time I think I say that all the time that I'm gonna order some more of whatever it is that I want you want to see how I achieve this look? Then stay tuned and keep on watching. So let's get started. I'm going to start with priming my face with Becca's primer and it is mattifying. And I'm also going to prime my lids with the Urban Decay Primer. I already have my brows done off camera just to save some time because I'm going to be using a lot of shadows. Then I'm going in with Hourglass in Shell and this is my second time using it. and. I probably put a little more than you actually need to with this foundation. I'm just kind of trying to figure out how to work with it. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. It's very pigmented, so probably didn't need that much product, but it worked out. It blended beautifully. Then going in with Shape Tape from Tarte. This is in the color Light. And as you can see, I'm doing the triangular shape, but not going down as far because this is a really full coverage concealer and I've noticed when I put it on as I typically do with other concealers, it's just way too much product. So you don't have to use as much with this one. It's really nice. And it is um, easily blendable. It covers everything, blends like a dream. So I use it pretty much all the time. Then I'm taking my Beauty Blender and some Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I am just packing that under my eyes. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to be using a lot of shadows and in case there's any fallout I can just kind of swipe that away later. It will also help to set the concealer. Then I'm taking MAC's Mineralize Skin Finish and setting the rest of my foundation. Then I'm taking Bamboo from MAC and I'm going to be using that as my transition color. So on a big fluffy brush, I am just placing that all over my eye lid, all over the crease, moving it up. Taking that beautiful orangey color from the Nubian palette, I'm going to be packing that onto my outer V with the MAC 217 brush. And then I'm going to be blending it inward in the crease and a little bit above the crease. Then moving in with that color that you just saw right there, I'm doing the exact same thing that I just did with the orangey looking color. And now I'm taking a big fluffy brush and making sure everything looks nice and blended. Taking that color you just saw right there, they don't have names, I apologize. And I am packing that the same exact way I just did those other two colors, but I'm not going as far up. So I'm putting it on the outer V and I'm going to be blending it inward but keeping most of the pigment on the outer portion of the eye and blending it upward and outward. Then going back to that big fluffy brush and just blending, blending, blending until everything is blended where you just don't see any harsh lines. Then I went into that color, it's kind of like a red brick color and packed a little bit on. I wanted to make it a little bit more kind of that reddish tone and basically doing the same exact thing as I did with the really dark brown color and 
Then I wanted some more red. <laughs> I told you I'd be using a lot of shadows. So I wanted some more red, so I took that beautiful color you just saw right there and did the same thing. As you can see, it gives you a lot of dimension when you use different colors. You just have to make sure that you're doing a lot of blending. So I just kept going back to that big fluffy brush that you see there from MAC and just blended until you couldn't tell when one color started and one stopped. Then going in with Max Nylon, this is a super dramatic highlight. I'm popping that into my inner corner and I'm also going to use that as a brow bone highlight. Moving on to the lid, I'm going to spray a flat shader brush with some MAC Fix Plus and I'm going into that beautiful color that you see there, that bronzy, orangey color. And I'm going to place that all over my lid and using the Fix Plus really helps it stay where you want it to stay and also as you can tell it makes it super, super pigmented and super dramatic which is the look I was going for. Then moving on to lower lashes, I'm going to take that brush and pop it into the darkest brown that I used and I'm just going to take that all the way from the outer corner and take that into the inner corner and make it very, very well defined. Moving on to a pencil brush, I take that color that you just saw right there and I'm going to now smoke out what I just did. Then we're going backwards, so we're going from dark to medium brown to the lightest brown and I'm going to be using the same pencil brush and I'm smoking it out even more. Then I'm going to take the tip of that brush that I use on my lid and I'm going to take that same color and just put a tiny bit of that right smack dab in the middle of my lower lash line. Going with that light shimmery color, I'm just going to pop my finger in it and stick it right smack dab in the middle of my lid and then blend it out with my finger. As you can see, that just gives it a lot more dimension and I find that using your finger with this technique is the best way to do it. Then I'm taking that same color that you just saw me use my finger and I'm putting it right dab smack in the middle of the other shimmery bronze color on my lower lash line. Going back in with the big fluffy brush and just blending it all out. Moving on to liner, I'm going to tight line and pop some black gel liner from Marc Jacobs into my lower waterline. This definitely makes your eyes look more dramatic. You can use brown if you want, if you don't want that much drama. And this is a wonderful gel liner. This thing will not budge. curling my lashes and then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and swipe away any of the excess powder that I had on from before. Putting on a coat of Benefits Varial Mascara and I'm going to put some individual falsies off camera and I just put a few on the outer portion of my eye to give it a cat eye effect and then I'm going in with that color you see there and just doing a little bit of contouring. Switched up my brush, same color and I'm contouring my forehead by the hairline, typical places, under the cheekbone, jawline, all the typical places. And just doing a really good job to make sure that that's nice and blended out. Going in with Max Care Blend Powder, this is in dark. I'm going to use that as my bronzer today. And I'm just gonna go over the contour and same places. And I'm just gonna do some more blending and giving my face a little bit more of a warm bronzy look like I have been in the sun all day. This is a beautiful, beautiful powder. It is not a bronzer, but it, it works really well. Then I'm taking that same contour color that I used earlier and I'm just doing a little contouring on my nose. Going in with Max Melba, I'm going to be placing that on the apples of my cheeks and blending it backward. This is a beautiful blush that goes with so many different looks. I love this color. I haven't used it in a really long time. Then I took just a touch of Milani's Luminoso and popped that over Melba. And then I picked up some Champagne Pop and put my highlight on. So a little bit on my cheekbones right there and on the tip of my nose and on my cupid's bow. 
Then going in with Spice Lip Liner from MAC, I'm going to be lining my lips. And this combo you're going to see here is my favorite these days. And I'm using MAC's Viva Glam 2 as lipstick. And for gloss, I'm going in with NYX's Trace Leches. And I absolutely love this nudie brown color for fall. And here is the final look. Alright you guys, so this is the final look. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something as always. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.